Hey there YouTube, this is a quick criticism review of uh, Scorpion from Toy Biz. This came out in the early 2000s and it's still the best Scorpion figure available. Can you believe it? It's been over 10 years and the Hasbro has yet to create a, a decent Scorpion figure. They had that uh, Scorpion Venom nonsense but that doesn't count. That's not even that good of a figure. Anyway, this figure, wow, it's a hell of a figure. Nicely sculpted, nicely done, and any fan of the Spam anime series from the mid 90s would absolutely fawn over this figure if you guys had the chance. It goes for a pretty penny. I would say on eBay, but if you, can, if you can find, it's really hard to find these figures nowadays. People willing to sell them. 30 bucks, I would say, gets you this figure in the USA. Um, yeah, anyway, let's just write it. There's nothing to really criticize on this figure. You know, no criticism on this figure at all. It's it's so perfect. Uh, <sighs> look at the face sculpt here. Very nice. Very nice. And exactly like the anime series, man. Very, very well done. <laughs> look at the face, man. Unique face sculpt. Hasbro these these days, they have the Marvel Legends license. They don't uh, they tend to reuse faces. So, like Captain America may have the fa same face sculpt as Luke Cage, for example, because Hasbro is cheap. They cut costs everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. So, and these these lines all sculpted, and so these little rivets there, all sculpted, you know. Very nice. Touch it's very nice. That's the arm. Very well done. Everything's well done in this figure. The glove is not, it, it's, it's, it's very nice. That's all I can say. I keep using that word, but it's very nice. Everything is sculpted. Look at that. It has a little, uh, you know, like little uh, clothes. It has, it's like bunched up. It's really nice, man. Very nice sculpted lines. See little sculpted lines there. Sculpted. Uh, if Hasbro would made this figure today, they're going to paint these lines on to cut costs. It's what they do. They paint lines to cut costs and then they, they take away boot cuts now. This is a nice boot cut. I love boot cuts where it makes sense. So let's just get to the figure articulation. There's no head goes up and down, it's limited by the part with the sculpt. So that's one negative there, but the face is very nice. I don't even like his little slightly geeky smirk. You know, it's very nice. Uh arm rotation D60, up arm rotation. It goes in that much. It's, it's double elbowed actually. Is it? Yeah, I could get more actually, but I have, I have the heel up. Can I? No, it looks like the biceps gonna limit the weight bend, so that's about 90 degrees. Fine, acceptable. Glove rotates. Hinge up there, and the hands does have a clasping action so you can like grab Spider Man like that, you know? Uh, Spider Man. I think in the 90s card had a Brooklyn accent to Scorpion. Anyway, uh, the waist has rotation. No ab crunch to really speak of. It does go slightly, but nothing that'll really uh, knock your socks off. Oh, I want to show you the tail. The tail, it's the it's it had a feature where it shoots a missile off. I don't missile anymore. It's a bendy wire tail, so that's really nice. And they can bend it. We gotta watch the bendy wires in case they break off, especially something this old. Gotta be careful with it. So has the Benny wire very nicely done. Hasbro would not give us the Benny wire if they ever made a Scorpion figure. That's why they haven't made it, by the way. They'll probably make this a build a figure piece. That's the way they do things. And uh, it does have a, uh, a slight waist rotation there. It's a little stiff. I'm not sure if it, it moves or anything. But it does have movement, but I'm not sure if I'll break it or keep moving it. So skip that for the moment. Uh, leg kicks out that far. Not bad for a Scorpion figure. Goes back really far. It goes out full uh, full ninety and double jointed knees, double jointed knees. Very nice. Boot rotation. Uh, ankle goes up and down. Has a toe joint here, but no ankle pivot to speak of. I mean that's fine. Most likely, if had ankle pivot, it'll start giving way because of the weight of the, uh, the scorpion tail. So this figure is probably a nine to a ten. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have is ankle pivot, really. 
and a, a neck joint that goes really far up or down. It really doesn't have a neck joint, so neck calf stays in its position. So it's definitely a fairy to get. Uh, it's definitely worth the 30 bucks we get. It'll make you happy, get it. You know, I don't think any bargains on these figures, so you see if it's 30, get it. Definitely worth it. Take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed the criticism review. Uh, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Peace. This figure actually came with this uh, stand, right? It's really nicely designed. It's a newspaper stand, right? So I told this was a straight plastic feature, but this is actually kind of like a cloth material. So it's kind of like, let me show you what I mean. See, so, wow, look at that. It's a nice feature, man. Very nice. Look, so I'll, anytime I see this, I was told it was crushed, you know? But it's actually a nice design. I had to show you guys this to end the review, you know, it's it's very nice, you know, I kind of wish uh, a name company that begins with H would innovate stuff, and it's innovative, you know, try stuff, you know, try stuff, that's really nice, wow, you know, I just want to show you that, if you guys can get this, this access you get, it's nice, nice display piece, otherwise, you know, take what you can get, you know, get a scrubbing figure, 30 bucks, take it, buy it, you'll enjoy it, anyway guys, take care, bye.